coming to Curiosity Podcast. America loves its founding fathers, but that's a tough act to follow as a founding son. If you do not rise to the head, not only of your profession, but of your country, it will be owing to your own laziness, slovenliness, and obstinacy. John Quincy Adams never escaped the long shadow of his father, John Adams. He failed as a one-term president, but became an extraordinary ex-president. He could see the coming Civil War and was trying desperately to stop it. I'm Bob Crawford. As the basis for the Ava brothers, I've spent a lot of time in tour buses reading American history. And John Quincy Adams deserves a second look. Join me, Patrick Warburton, and Nick Offerman as we bring the sixth president to life. We'll travel back to the start of this fledgling nation, torn between slave and free states, to a bitter presidential campaign against Andrew Jackson. Was there ever witnessed such a barefaced corruption in any country before? Letter from Philadelphia threatening organized opposition and civil war if Jackson is not chosen. <laughs> and we'll follow John Quincy Adams to the halls of Congress. But he did want to reclaim his greatness after he'd been knocked down, after his presidency actually had been something of a failure. We'll learn about his reluctance to join the abolitionists, only to later champion liberty for enslaved people by arguing a landmark case before the Supreme Court. I yielded and told them that if by the blessing of God my health and strength should permit, I would argue the case. We'll bring you inside the uprisings, legal battles, and political brinksmanship that threatened to shatter the fragile union and the toll Adams' ambition took on his family. The grave of my lost child... The grasping ambition, which is an insatiable passion, swallowing and consuming all in its ever-devouring more. As the nation reckons with its history, don't sleep on John Quincy Adams. He held the Union together across two pivotal eras and two visions for America. Though it costs the blood of millions of white men, let justice be done, though the heavens fall. Adams stretches his hand forward to Lincoln and in so many ways makes Lincoln possible. You will learn about the life and legacy of our sixth president, John Quincy Adams, voiced by me, Patrick Warburton. But you'll also be learning about our seventh president, Andrew Jackson, voiced by me, Nick Offerman. Oh, right, Jackson. That's the guy John Quincy Adams called a murderer in his diary. Well, yeah, Jackson did say he wished Adams would become paralyzed by a stroke. So, so yeah, they were not vibing each other. Listen to Founding Son, a curiosity podcast, every Thursday on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts, starting April 13th. <laughs>